well, we had such a great day fishing with Annika and Katie on day one, it wasn't really tough to convince the girls to come out for day two after catching those beautiful steelhead, a few coho, some sockeye. So it's day two on the ski now with Annika Jurgensen and Katie Watson today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Well, we're here today on the Skeena with Katie Watson. Welcome to Hello. Sport Fishing on the Fly. Thank you for having me. Yeah, great. Well, you're going to use yeah. your, your outfit here, the yep. spay casting outfit. So I've got my little bottom bouncing rig <laughs> that I usually use on the Skeena. So yeah. we're going to put them to the test. Okay. We've got a nice run here. We've been fishing it for the last few days. And we've got like steelhead, coho, uh, even <laughs> Colin got that nice Chinook this morning yeah. out of nowhere. But anyway, beautiful. it's a beautiful run here. It's a nice day. So. We'll go in, we'll try you with the spay, like over the hump, yep. see how you do with that. And then we may take you to the dark side with a little bottom <laughs> bouncing, see, depending on how okay. it goes. So welcome to the show and hopefully you'll Thank see you. Katie landing some nice fish here shortly. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a coho. I think. <laughs> Just can't tell because he's yeah, I could uh, go ho ho ho. Yeah. Oh. 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 They're tough. Well, wow, that's a nice, a nice chunky sockeye. Some of these sockeye have got some good girth about them. Okay, okay let's put him back in and get back to his migratory route. A little tougher netting your own fish. <laughs> You're going to come in and try the bottom bounce, are you? I'm turning to the dark side. You're turning to the dark side. <laughs> you can only see so many fish being caught ahead of you. <laughs> oh, that, then you turn <laughs> over. Get frustrated. Okay, so what I'll show you what to do here. So really, I try to find a spot that I can get where I'm snag free because when you're bouncing those weights across there, it can get very snaggy. And the big idea doing it when you cast it out, what I like is to, and then what I'm doing is just, I'm kind of nymphing, but holding it back. I can feel my weight. I can feel my weight ticking along. So what's happening is the flies below it. So you're kind of partially swinging. The first part is just a straight nymphing. Yeah. And then once it starts to swing and I let it carry right through, it's just bouncing there. You can see it ticking. They come right in because a lot of times, of course, the steelhead and coho will grab right at the end. So you just try to find a spot, because there's boulders and stuff out there, where I just get a nice tick. And then sometimes right off the bat, when you're in those little pockets, if you can find uh, some boulders where there's a little seam, a lot of times the fish will hit it right away too when it's being nymphed. And a lot of times they'll grab at the back. So you just keep, once you find an area, I just keep working it, working it, and if you catch fish there, more fish will always come there yeah. afterwards. So, not very, far, not very far because you know it's hard to throw. I just plop it, yeah. like I don't have a. I mean, I, there's no effort to it because I just basically keep flicking it over, flicking it back out, and then I just keep moving it each time. Now, a lot of times we'll move in and out if the fish look like they're further, yeah. but as soon as you move, you get snagged, right? 
So as soon as you try it, you can get hung up. We use 20 pound tests because they're not leader shy. And then you can usually pull your, you can pu pull your hook out of the snag. Yeah. But while you get snagged there, there's some big boulders. You can see right there, you can see by the water. Yeah. So what I like to do is try to get right behind them. That's what you can't do with the spay, nope. is if you can get it to fall <laughs> straight in the pocket. And a lot of times those fish will be riding right in that pocket. Okay? okay. So we'll see, we'll give you a try. Yeah. <laughs> How's, first time that's all rigged up? Okay. Yeah, so it'll be a different type of feel to you. But you've nymphed before, right? You've done oh, nymphing and yeah. yeah, yeah. So same, yeah. kind of the same sort of principle, but you're going to let it tail out. You know, with the nymph, you normally, yeah. once it's done its float, yeah. it's through. Let me see how heavy that is. I'm going to swap you for a second. I'll see how Let's. many weights gone. I think he's got two on this one. getting a decent tick there. About that distance, you see where it's coming down there? And then let me just, uh, and you can feel it bumpling along. That feels pretty good. So try a few here. I'll let you get in here and then we'll, and then it's just a matter of the fish coming, right? Okay, come right in here. Yeah. Yeah, they'll just come, but they always come right in that little, like that seam there. Yep. That seems to be where they're coming, right up in there. But a lot of times they'll chase it in from that if you let it slide right in. Down in there, it gets really below uh, belt. You can get a lot of fish there yeah, if you do it there. But here's good because a lot of the big fish are caught up here. Yep. So again, it's just this. So try it out. Come on down and give her a go. He's going to go right to the end, Katie. <laughs> You're going to have to... Walk him down? Ah, it's a big steelhead. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go right to the big pool. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably have to end up getting below him ultimately. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if he comes back. <laughs> They look very steelheady. <laughs> yeah, don't let him go. He'll be, you're not going to have any hope up in here. It's going to be <laughs> down in the. I can feel him turning around. Yeah, he'll end up oh. down. 
Yeah, you got to yeah. kind of walk him down. He, he will not come back. He'll be back in that. You'll land him down by the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim. I got him! I got him! Good job! Woo! I got him! I got him fresh! <laughs> Coming up. Oh my god! Nice steely, eh? That's huge! Good job, yeah! <laughs> good job! <laughs> Okay, so oh. I'm buttoning him. There is the bruiser right in his shape. Look at how it yeah. just falls out too, right? It's he. crazy how they could take such... Can I take a picture of my... Oh, phone? yeah. Yeah, we'll get over here. We'll oh, okay. go take him to the thing, reel that out of the way. Okay, <laughs> isn't that a nice fish, Katie? Beautiful. Your first steelhead today. Oh. Hopefully we'll have more. It's fresh. Fresh steelhead. Nice sea lice. You betcha. <laughs> yeah. I think he was the guy who boiled on your fly the I first time. I think he right? was. Okay, show him I up to the so. camera there a little bit. Yeah. I got him in the net. Very nice. Okay. okay. Yep. There he is. Nice. That's okay, we're going to turn him around and. Okay, and just release just normally? Yeah, I'd go upstream though. Turn him upstream. Purr. It's that nice. Watch her go out. Look at that, eh? <laughs> they, look at how they can tuck in. That's crazy. This is what I find amazing when you watch how they'll just see how he finds yeah. that seam. Yeah. But a fish that's that big, just resting that's right insane. there, and look, we can't see yeah. him. That's and so And they can cool. move. And then they just recur. And then you watch how she just. But we've she watched them before. Breath. You release the big fish, and you watch them make their way up, and how they look at how much effort to slide behind that boulder. She's just swimming there nice. Now she's moving, right? Migrating up. See how they go boulder to boulder? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, the fish behavior, it's amazing. Good <laughs> job so there, good. way to go, okay. Oh, I'm stoked. It's not even noon yet and you've got your steelhead in the bag. Okay. Now Those let's get nice one twice that nets, size. Right? Yeah, Collins, right. they broke it on a big steelhead last year. Oh, seriously? Yeah, a huge snap. Jeez. Lifting right. it, filled the hole. <laughs> get him in. <laughs> That's a good, that's a nice, uh, look at it. He sees me with the big scooper. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's a nice, that is a nice sockeye. Now they're a lot harder to hold on to, aren't they? <laughs> they are, even small ones are. Yeah. Oh, that's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, you can lift him out. He don't come really see him down there. There. Nice sockeye. Okay. He's going to be one of the lucky ones. Gets to swim <laughs> free. Nice. Should be doing that. Gave you a good battle too. Yeah. Oh, he'll go. Those sockeye don't even. I just let him go. He'll swim like a. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good job. So that. Uh, so how are you finding the, the little bottom bounce technique? <laughs> well, it's effective, that's for it's sure. Very effective, effective, right? And you just got a fish close. You need some fish yeah. to come. People, you see when the schools come through. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's fun fighting the fish too, oh, isn't it? Fun. That's, that's yeah. what I like, single handers yeah. when they fight them. I agree. Yeah. So like that big steelhead that took you way down to <laughs> oh the end God. of the pool. And there'll be yeah. more. We just have to wait for them to come. So that's right. Another you know you're in your spot. So you know where you were. Yeah. You know, we were right in here. So usually mm. I just find where I am and then yeah. get back in there and fire away. Yeah. Okay. No, it's fine. Good job. And not the prettiest cast, but it is effective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the beauty of the big spay <laughs> cast, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hawkeye got to be the spinniest. They just spin round and round. There you go, buddy. See, so that's what Bill's doing. Instead of staying, he's gone way out to try and reach yeah. out deep. But, but I find, you know, we never catch him like that. Out deep like that, you don't get a proper. Yeah. You gotta kind of be back by the rock more. Yeah, I don't go much further than this okay. as yeah. far as uh, weight goes, like just yeah. to hit that. Because those fish just tend to come right up. I can just see the exact seam they're coming up now, right in front of Bill. Yeah. That's that exact seam they're coming up. It's a sake. Yeah. yeah, just chrome like. Is that made a tail? I don't know. Let's look at it. No, that's a coho. I think it's a coho. Yeah. That's a little oh, it coho. Is. Yeah, it is a coho. Yeah. A small coho. He didn't look like a sockeye. He had the different head. It's a coho, yeah. Little guy, but still nice yeah, oh he's been it. hooked yeah. eh? he's on his journey he's been uh i'll hand you my rod if you want he's still a nice fish look at where he's yeah. been hooked before so he's been one lucky coho no kidding <laughs> oh he's he's caught lots of pizzazz come on and he's on i've got him on the other side right yeah i'm trying to look at where my hook oh there he is right here Okay. Ooh, just, nice yeah. and bright though. Yeah. I'll try a quick little. Uh. Yeah. Nice coho, yeah, nice and bright. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice wash. <laughs> well that's it. We go down ding and all of a sudden bada yeah. bing, bada boom, right? At the Perfect. same time. Double header. See, that's what I mean it, when the fish come through, right? You just have push. to keep for flogging. And that's one lucky coho. He's been released no a couple kidding, of times. Yeah. Some of those suck. Okay, he's back. Finally got him back. He tried to take you out. He looks pretty fresh. Yeah, he does. He looks chrome. Chrome sockeye. It's a pinky. It's a pink. It's a pink. <laughs> There's only like three pinks in the whole river. <laughs> and she got one. Oh. <laughs> that was a pink. Really? <laughs> <laughs> he went oh, by so and you funny. nailed him. A pink. That's yeah, because so... they shake their heads, right? They like do, they yeah. yeah. Wow, and there's so few pink in the river. 
Like I there's a... I didn't think I'd get a pink. <laughs> no. Oh, that's The Ryan great. one, no one's hooked it. Like there's only how many pinks in this run? <laughs> You have better odds of catching a steelhead than no. a pink. There is, we got a, a pink, a chinook. Yeah, yeah, a all chum. day. There's been a, well, yeah, we a got chum. a chum, yeah. Sockeye, We've caught chum. every species on this bar. Every species Look at there that. is. Pacific Grand Slam? Pacific Grand Slam, is right. <laughs> well, Katie, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Yeah, we caught some, you got a nice steelhead, we got some sockeye, we saw other. <laughs> Big fish being caught. It was a heck of a good day. Yeah, coho, and we had, and uh, and a chinook. And a chinook. Yeah, like the whole gamut. Got a chum on this bar yesterday. So. Yeah. Anyway, it was good. Katie's one of our female co-host finalists. So, I'm glad you could join us here on the Skeena. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed your day. Very much. Yeah. Excellent. That steelhead just. Yeah. Made it. And you learned a new technique. I did. Our little bottom bounce <laughs> will turn you into a single hander too. <laughs> it's not as pretty, but uh, it's effective. Excellent. So give them our line. Okay, well, take care, preserve our water, and we'll see you next time when we take you on sport fishing on the fly. <laughs> Excellent. Right on. <laughs> Good day. <laughs>